To make ASIMO a reality, the designers and engineers first had to determine the purpose for the machine and then decide on its form. We really felt that uh, it, we need that compact, lightweight, flexible size and dimensions uh, to move through tight spaces in the home or maybe in a medical office or in some sort of dangerous uh, you know, environment where it might be you know, fighting fires or addressing you know, toxic spills. Originally powered by a nickel halide battery, the research team shifted to a lithium ion battery for improved charging time and longer lasting charge. It can operate on about an hour per charge, it takes about uh, three hours to charge. From its battery power to its development, the process was complex. How did ASIMO take its form? It's not just you know, computer science or electrical engineering, but it's fields like chemistry, anatomy, uh, biology. All these uh, sciences go into creating a humanoid robot. This expansive interdisciplinary approach provides ASIMO with 34 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move flexibly at the head, hips, knees and ankles. Amazingly, it can also move its four fingers and thumb, which boasts two degrees of freedom.